The prophet Isaiah writes, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Butter and honey shall he eat, that he may know to refuse evil and choose the good. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting, Father, the Prince of Peace. Savior. He chose a young woman named Mary to give birth to his son. Mary was a faithful servant of the Lord and she loved God. One day, while Mary was doing her chores, she saw a very bright light. Shading her eyes, she realized it was an angel. The angel frightened her. Seeing her expression, the angel spoke kindly. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. You will conceive in your womb a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great, and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And his kingdom will have no end. The angel disappeared. Mary blinked her eyes and looked anxiously about. She, Mary, had been chosen by God to give birth to the Savior? It seemed impossible, but she knew that with God, all things were possible. When Joseph knew Mary was going to have a child, Joseph no longer wished to marry her. But an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. For which is conceived in her is, the, is of the Holy Spirit, and she will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for it is he who will save his people from their sin. Then Joseph did as the angel of the Lord had asked him, and took Mary as his wife. proclamation from the emperor. A decree has come out from Caesar Augustus that a census be taken of all the inhabited earth. All the world shall be taxed and accounted for. Everyone must go to the city where they have come from to be counted. Here ends the proclamation. Right face forward, march! All over the world, people had to return to their hometowns to pay their taxes. 
It was hard for some people to do this, but when Caesar commanded, the people did as they were told. Joseph went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to the town of Bethlehem, the birthplace of King David. Mary rode on a donkey because it was difficult for her to walk. Her time for giving birth was near. When Mary and Joseph arrived in Bethlehem, they were very tired and dusty. Mary just wanted to lay her head down and sleep. The town was noisy and overcrowded. People kept bumping into each other. Joseph began his search for a place for Mary and him to stay overnight. He approached one innkeeper after another. No vacancies, Joseph heard over and over again. You expect a room left? One of the innkeepers, mine is overflowing, not even room for a mouse, go away. Joseph was becoming worried, where could they stay? Joseph knocked on one last door. The building was also full, but the innkeeper took pity on Joseph and Mary and offered them a space in the stable behind the inn. The stable was warm from the body heat of the animals. In the stable, there was a sheep. There was a cow. There was a dove. There was a chicken. There were mice. There was a cat. There was a dog. And there was a camel. Mary gave birth to her first son, and she wrapped him in cloths and laid him in a manger. It's a cold 
night, said one shepherd, but I feel warm nonetheless. Yes, replied another. I have a funny feeling about tonight. Something big, I mean really big, is going to happen. But I don't know what. I just know it will. And an angel of the Lord suddenly stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terribly frightened. And the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of a great joy, which shall be for all the people. For today in the city of David there has been born for you a Savior, who is Christ the Lord, and this will be a sign unto you. You will find the babe wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Angels, we have heard. There appeared with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and peace on earth to those with whom he is pleased. Then the angels went away. shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us. So the shepherds hurried off. The first Noel, the angel did say, was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they and saw the baby lying in a manger. Jesus was born during the time when Herod was king. Soon afterwards, some men who studied the stars came from the east and asked, Where is the baby who was born to be king of the Jews? We saw his star when it comes up in the east, and we have come to worship him. The kings left and followed the star, which came to rest about the stable where Jesus lay. When they saw him, they kneeled down and worshipped him. They presented gifts to the baby. They brought their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Unto us a child was born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace.
Yeah.